The high school football season is about to kick off. We go to Chris Palmquist now covering the big Helan East game, right, Chris? What an exciting time of year. Football is officially back. I'm out here live at Memorial Field for our first Woodhouse game of the week. Look at this turnout from the East High Black Raiders and the Healing Crusaders. What a night we have lined up for you. One of the greatest rivalries in all of Siouxland, East and Healing. Now, over the last five years, the Crusaders have had the upper hand in five, in four of those five matchups. They're excited, they're excited. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna go ahead and bring in the coaches now so they can get into game prep. I'm joined by Bob Goodman of East and Jerry Steffen of Helan. Bob, we'll, we'll start with you here real quick. Everyone outside this locker room makes a big deal about this rivalry. But when you look at it at the end of the year for playoffs, it doesn't, doesn't make any difference whether you get in or not. How do you guys approach a game like this? Well, we approach it just like any other game. It's just one game in our schedule, and uh, it just happens to be the first game, which kind of complicates the issue. But, uh, um, you know, tomorrow morning we'll start getting ready for our next opponent, and I'm sure Helan will too. Now, Jay, everyone around the Helan program knows you as a defensive guy. You've spent a lot of time as the defensive coordinator here. Sure. This year, you got a new hat on. You're calling the plays offensively. What's that change been like for you? Well, it's been, I've got a unique perspective being on the defense for the last 29 years, so I'm going to use that as an offensive play caller, and hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. I was an offensive player, so I'm looking forward to it tonight. And, of course, you have one of the best weapons in the state. That makes it a little easier, right? It, it does make it a little easier when you got a leading rusher in 3A football. That's great. Sabian Clark. Now, Bob, we'll ask you about Sabian Clark. Everyone around here knows the talent that he has. What's the game plan for slowing down a kid like that? Well, we got to get 11 hats to the ball. There's no doubt about that. I mean, we we got to we got to scramble to the ball, and we preach that all three weeks. So, uh, hopefully, we can do that. Offensively, you bring back Taylon Flemister. Uh, how big of a key is he for you guys tonight, offensively? Well, we got to get him the ball. There's no doubt about that, and that's no secret. We're not letting anything out of the bag there, uh, and, and we got to get it to him in different ways. So. Uh, if we try to run him 30, 35 times a game between the tackles, we might get arrested for abuse. So, <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, on the other side, East does have Flemister back in the backfield, but they have a, a new quarterback coming in. Does that affect your game calling at all defensively? Uh, no, not really. I mean, our defense has done the same thing. I'm sure Bob knows exactly what we do on defense, so we just need to execute what we do well. Jerry, thank you very much for the time. Best thank of luck you. tonight. Bob, same to you. Thank you. Best of Coach, luck down the luck. season. All right. Now, Healing and East, obviously the biggest game of the night here. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here with all of my closest friends. There you go. But there are some other big games around Siouxland going on tonight that we want to talk to you about. It's number one versus number six tonight up in Hinton as the Blackhawks host Akron Westfield. Now, Hinton handled the Westerners 40 to 14 in the first game of 2015. Both teams, of course, went on to have great seasons. The Blackhawks made it to the state quarterfinals. The Westerners, your Class A state runners up. We'll see if Akron Westfield can avenge their defeat last season. We'll have highlights later tonight. Out in Nebraska, there's a one versus two battle in Wahoo when Norfolk Catholic takes on Bishop Newman. Newman, of course, has a D1 quarterback in UCF commit Noah Vidral. Norfolk Catholic beat the Cavaliers twice last season, once in the playoffs. Should be a great game. Again, we'll have those for you tonight at 1030. Back here at Memorial Field, though, everyone here is ready for one game and one game only. That's East and Healing. I'll ask this side first. Who's going to win tonight? Okay, okay. How about, how about this side? I think you might disagree. As you can see, everyone's all fired up again. This will be our Woodhouse game of the night tonight on the Sports Zone Half Hour Show coming up tonight at 1030 right here on ABC9. Reporting live in Sioux City, Chris Palmquist, ABC9 Sports. It's too bad nobody's excited, Chris. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.